Grade 3 math, lesson 33, multiply by 2, multiply by 4. We've done multiplying by 1 and 0. I'm going to show you by 2 and by 4 now. So the first thing we're going to do is look at multiply by 2. 2 times 2 is the same thing as 2 plus 2. Now that doesn't happen. You can't say 6 times 6 is equal to 6 plus 6. It doesn't work that way. That's only because we're doing the 2 times table. That means you do the number 2 times. If you have a 2, 2 different times, then you're going to have a total of 4. So the 2 times table is the only one who does it because the 2 times table is like adding the number to itself. You count it 2 times. In any other times table, like 6 times 6, then you would count a 6 6 times. That's a lot. That would be 36. So 2 times 2 is equal to 2 plus 2. They both equal 4. It means two groups of 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. And in this one, 6 times 2 is the same thing as 6 plus 6. 6 2 times, 1 time, 2 times, is 12. 6 plus 6 is 12. This is the 2 times table. All of the answers are evens. They're not odds. They're all evens. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. That's skip counting by twos. You can almost make a song out of it. Try to memorize these. Maybe you can get some cards and make some flashcards, and somebody can quiz you. Maybe a brother or a sister or a mom or a dad or a cousin or a friend can quiz you to see if you can memorize these. There's lots of games online, too. The sooner you memorize your times table, the faster you'll be in math, and you'll be the first one done. Now let's look at the four times table. We saw over here that 2 times 2 is equal to 2 plus 2. Here we have a 2, so it's sort of like the 2 times table, except we're doing it with a 4 this time. 4 times 2 is like saying 4 times you have a 2. There's 1 time, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times. 4 times 2 is 8, and it's the same thing as 4 plus 4. See, there's still 8. You have two groups of 4 or four groups of two. Either way, that's the commutative property, if you remember. Let's look at this. Four times three. There's four times that I made three dots in, a, in the oval. See? I did it four times. One, two, three, four. It's the same thing as four plus four plus four. That's how many times four times three means we had a 4 three times. You could also say we had a 3 four times. Either way, 4 times 3 or 3 times 4, they still equal 12. Remember, that's the commutative property. The 4 times table is adding the number 4 times. So if you had 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, you have a 5 four times. That's the same as 4 times 5. Four times I have a 5. See? 5 and 5 is 10, and 5 and 5 is 10, and the two 10s, 10 plus 10 is 20. So 4 five times 5 equals 20. Now, because this is an even number and this is an even number, and the two times table are all evens, guess what? The four times table are all evens. All the answers are evens. And instead of skip counting by two, zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, it skips one of them. It goes zero, four. See how we skipped the two? And it went right from the zero to the four. It skips the six and goes to the eight. See that? It skips the 10 and goes to the 12. See? Because we're counting by 4s instead of 2s. So on a number line, if this is 0, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, I went up to 12. If we were to skip count by twos, we'd go 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. If we were to skip count by fours, we go from zero to the four, see? And then we go from the four to the eight. We don't stop at the six, because we're going one, two, three, four jumps. And then the eight would jump to the twelve. So see how the two times table skip jumps by twos, and the four times table skips by fours. You could do it all the way up to four times twelve. Try to memorize these times table also. It will really help you with your math in class and your math homework. And if you're working on a GED, it'll help you with that too because you'll be able to answer more problems quicker and get through the test easier. Stay with me and we're going to do some more math. Hope to see you in the next with the next video. Bye.